our final day. We're heading back to the airport in Tel Aviv via the ancient Roman port of Caesarea on the shores of the Mediterranean Sea and immediately are confronted by the iconic aqueduct. And for Rachel and Nate, a memory of previous visits when they were little. As such, it's very special. I still have footage of those trips in the mid-80s. Believe it or not, shot on VHS tape with an enormous camera that was connected to a recorder hanging on my shoulder. Nate was five years old, Rachel seven, and Dodie ten. That's me with the 4K Z100, still a big camera. Here's my shot. I suppose in those days Caesarea would have been pronounced Kaiseria in Latin. That's where the German Kaisers got their names. The city was populated from the 1st to 6th centuries AD and was an important early centre of Christianity during the Byzantine period, but was destroyed during the Arab-Muslim conquest of 640. The five kilometres long aqueduct brought water into the city from sources inland. As this is a vlog, it includes all the fun parts. We certainly had a good time together. Caesarea! Beautiful city! <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful day! Caesarea! On the Mediterranean! <laughs> Having a beautiful time! <laughs> the ancient ramparts that protected the city. The entranceway, a later addition, probably built by Louis IX of France in 1251. We're having a beautiful time. It's a great day. It was fun to explore, right in the heart of ancient history. The striated road here, clearly Roman. We then strolled over to the old city of Caesarea, that we all remember from former visits. We loved walking around and exploring, as we all clearly remembered 1986 when we last came here together. It was a special memory. The ancient ruins have been restored here and it's a joy to explore. My camera is still too big. Nathan is using the AX100 and Rachel is happy to be free now and again hey. to explore. Now I know what I look like. Oh, it's so nice to have, not have to carry anything. The ruins of the ancient city, excavated in the 50s and 60s, and the site became part of the Caesarea National Park in 2011. This, the ruins of the Crusader Church, destroyed by Saladin in 1187. The ancient harbour. The 
the mosque still stands. The Limani Bistro where we ate in 1986 still there, though the veranda where we ate is now enclosed. Many interesting things to do here. The last site the Apostle Paul had of Israel was here in 57 AD as he sailed from this harbour to Rome, being shipwrecked in Malta on the journey. So ends our amazing break. Rachel coming in from New York, Nate from London, and me arriving from Hong Kong. Special. Hope you enjoyed it. Now it's time to drive to the airport in Tel Aviv and back to London. We're on our way to Caesarea to check out the bomb. Good night. <laughs>